so I have to change yet another needle because I fixed her earlier and then another needle pop so just gonna get the little Article stuff out the way first, and then I'm gonna totally unthread her, take all the thread off. that the morning and put this down for just a moment most likely all of these steps don't need to be taken but it is what I am doing and then I gotta turn her around. And flip her this way so that I can Because the needle in and of itself is a journey to access. So back up this way oh look at that stuff that came out including the needle tip from earlier so I'll just set that like in the little trash basket here and take my finger and roll hopefully I can roll the screw see which way we're going to have to go left so towards me to loosen it Sorry for my head being in the way. But the crazy part about this one is that you really have to loosen the screw and you really have to tighten it. Get the tweezers. Try to toggle it loose.
then he might, I might have to go get some needle nose pliers like I did earlier. And I will. So needle nose pliers. Now, take a new needle, a 90. Hey, this has been the life of me. You hear me? Like the life and death of me right now. So I came to learn two hours later that um, you can't go any lower than an 80 with sergers when with the needles on surgeries to change them out and no higher than a hundred I think hundred something um otherwise it won't fit it well it'll fit but it won't stay in and I had to learn that the long way like two hours long way what's going on with yours so now I am going to put the pressure foot down and to make sure that the back flat, flat back is going in. Let me see here. Make sure it's flat and And make sure it's all the way up and the flat end is to the back. Then what I've had to do is take a pair of the the um screwdriver i think it's my thread being super old that's why it keeps popping okay we're gonna go through a threading if you have the dx i'm gonna show you well i gotta re-thread so i will try to show you that so i try to gently gently get the uh, needle to go back all the way up and like I said this this model is literally like literally a beast I broke one needle a couple of weeks ago then turn around and broke this needle which wound up making it both needles being broken. So it forced me to have to fix it. And that's where I am at this point. So there's a 
stopper up here inside of this thing that um, lets you know when to stop the needle. So, I mean, stop the needle. Okay, I'm probably not making sense right now. There's a stopper up here that um, stops the needle from going any further up once it's to its maximum area or whatever. Um, I have tried I have tried, um, you know how some machines you just have to, all you have to do is just open the, the screw just a little bit for the needle to have the access to go up. Well, this one, I'm assuming that some other species must have built this thing because it is so difficult, or maybe I just don't haven't read the manual correctly or something. I don't know. But it is so hard to get this needle to go up in here without fully taking the screw off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to put this paper right here so that the needle doesn't drop down into the machine. And flip it back around. No, my fit. Oop. Okay. So, took the took the screw all the way off, which that really shouldn't have to happen. Let me see what's going on here. Maybe, maybe I don't have the needle in correctly. Now, it's all the way up in there. And I am going to flip her back over like such onto the front because that's what I find easiest. And I am going to I'm um, my darn this to get this needle, I mean the screw to go back 
down in there with ease, which I have not found no kind of easy way where this thing is concerned. I really have not. So. I mean, it's just been one journey Ooh. after another, after another, after another with this thing. What I have learned is you definitely don't want to break the needles in these in this particular model. I've had other, I had another model and well, first of all, I didn't break the needle, so I don't know whether it would have been hard or not. Because I didn't break the needle in that one. Or maybe I did. I think I did, then the part bent and It was just downhill from there. So I just sent it back. Let me see if I can find a smaller screwdriver. It'll fit down in here better, just like that there. And twisty tie that on back down tight I have come to learn that these screws on this thing has to be like super tight they are hard to tighten down and they are hard to get off also, I had to wind up drilling a whole new, I had to wind up drilling a whole new hole, I mean a whole new thing on this front screw, all because it would not, um, it wouldn't come off. All right, so... Now I got the needle in there. Hopefully it's good and secure. That's what I'm hoping for. And now I am going to re-thread this machine. So let's check it out.